Hello good people! This is Fisher12 and we have another exciting video for you guys today as always and you're probably wondering why I'm dressed up like this although you can probably figure it out based off the title of this video and that is because I have graduated college. So I wanted to make this video for two reasons. The first I just wanted to thank you guys for your support. YouTube has played such a huge part in getting into college, getting through college, and it will continue to play a huge part even afterwards in getting a job. And the only reason why this YouTube thing is something surmountable that I can show people is because of the continued support that you guys have shown me over the past eight years. So I just want to thank you guys. I really do. I wish there was some way that I could take this thanks and put it into a physical form and give it to you guys because I realize I'm just saying words, uh, but thank you. I truly mean that. I truly appreciate it and the second reason why I wanted to make this video was to just sort of answer some questions about college I think I made a video I made a bro talk about my college experience but I didn't really go too in-depth and I didn't really get a chance to answer your guys specific questions that you might have about college so that's what this video is I pulled some questions from my ask FM just some of the college questions that slipped through the cracks underneath the girl advice questions uh, I think we have like 15 or so so let's go through them really quick I'll try to be as detailed as possible but at the same time being brief so I can get through as many questions as possible so let's jump right on in what was the average class size I would say my average class size was anywhere from 13 to 17 how did you make money as a student two ways that I made money is one I did have a little revenue coming in from this YouTube thing uh, and the other way I made money was that I got a job. I got a job at American Eagle. That's mostly what I did throughout my college career. I did get a co-op later, which I'll talk about in a bit. I think that question comes up. Uh, and that was also, that was like a paid internship, so I got some money from that too. But a lot of colleges offer a thing called work study, essentially a job on campus, something. Or maybe you're watching over a study room, or maybe you're helping out in the library, maybe you're taking notes for your teacher. There are all these sort of little jobs that you do, and the school will pay you for them. It's not much. You get paid minimum wage, and you don't work that many hours, but it's better than nothing. If I'm struggling in a class, how do I get help? So there are a number, number of ways that you can get help. Uh, the first is obviously just going to the teacher. It's very much like high school where if you don't understand something, put your hand up, ask the teacher, they'll happy to help you. If not, maybe see them during their office hours. Most teachers have dedicated office hours so that you can ask questions and see them and seek their help outside of the classroom. Most colleges will also have a learning center where you can go to and get help from either uh, a teacher assistant or a professor or another student. Do you have a study abroad or co-op program? Uh, I did not have a study abroad program. I did have a co-op program. Co-op is actually a requirement to graduate and that is why I am graduating now in the summertime as opposed to the spring when everyone else graduates because my school has a two uh, co-op semester graduation requirement. So I have to stop taking classes for two semesters and basically do nothing but work, do an internship for those two semesters. And because of that, that sets me back two semesters and that is why I am finishing now in the summer as opposed to the spring with everyone else. I always have to explain that because people always think that I am like stupid or that I failed a class or that I messed up or something and that's why I'm graduating in the summer, but no, everyone at Wentworth Institute of Technology graduates in the summer. If you don't graduate in the summer, you're doing it wrong. I would definitely recommend when you go to college that you seek out an internship or a co-op or some sort of uh, part-time work experience. I think that was probably the most beneficial thing that I got out of college. What percentage of students lived on campus? I I'm not actually sure what the percentage was, but my school was a commuter school, so I would say close to 50% were commuting and close to 50% lived on campus. It was really uh, an even split down the middle. What was your favorite and least favorite thing about college? My favorite thing about college, probably co-op. Aside from co-op, I think it was just the unique opportunities and experiences I was getting by attending a college in Boston. Uh, that was probably my favorite thing. I absolutely love the city. My least favorite thing was probably the efficiency and communication of my school. So my school was really, really poor about telling me things that were important, and they were really, really good about telling me things that I don't need to know about. If I log into my school email right now, I will literally have 50 emails about classes beginning in other majors, stuff about faculty, stuff about events I'm not even allowed to go to, all these things. And there will probably be like one email in there about my major, and that is the one important email that I need to see in, in the sea of like hundreds of other emails that my school just sends out for no apparent reason. So my school was really, really poor at communicating, 
and for a school that was supposed to be an institute of technology, a lot of the technology was subpar too. The Wi-Fi was awful. People could barely connect to it sometimes, and when they could connect, they were there was no way anyone was streaming on that Wi-Fi or getting an open NAT type on Xbox. That just wasn't happening on my school's college Wi-Fi. What was the party scene like? The party scene, it was, I'm under the impression that a lot of colleges, they could party like on the dorms and on campus and things like that, and that's just not the case here. All the partying happens off campus, which I think is, is probably better, uh, but it's also not the sort of thing that's right out in front of you. If you don't go looking for these parties, you will never come across one. Did most students go home for the weekend? Uh, I wouldn't say most students went home for the weekend, but i definitely say that there was a handful of students that went home for the weekend because, like I said, this was a commuter school. A lot of people didn't live too far away from home, so they would go home for the weekend and see their high school friends or whatnot. I rarely went home. I think I went home maybe like 10 times in my entire four years of being here and most of those times it was required by the school like it was spring break or something or thanksgiving or christmas and the school was kicking me out of the dorms like they wouldn't let me stay in the dorms what kind of clubs did they have on campus uh they had a handful of clubs i could not even list all the types of clubs they had but essentially if you have an interest in something there is a club for it and if there isn't you're most likely able to make that club on your own and the cool thing about my school is that my school was part of this uh, group of colleges called the Colleges of the Fenway, and it allowed me to take a class or an extracurricular at these other colleges. So let's say Wentworth didn't offer football or something, I could go and do football at another college, or maybe they didn't offer some science class, I could go to another college and take that science class, and that would still all count towards my degree here at Wentworth. So that was pretty cool. Was it difficult to switch majors? Uh, it wasn't difficult for me to switch majors. I was in computer science and then I switched to computer networking and I was very fortunate because for the first year and a half, both those majors took the same exact classes. I do know students who switched maybe from like architecture to computer science and that did uh, set them back a bit. You know, I, I don't wanna say it's difficult and that you shouldn't do it because if you're in a major that you're not happy with, that you don't see yourself pursuing for the next 40 years, get out of it. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Even if you have to take a completely different set of classes, it's not difficult because in the end, it's worth it. You have to fill out two sheets of paper, get them signed off, and then that's it, you're switched. And our last question, why did you decide to attend this school? So I decided to attend the school for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, Wentworth has a very high job placement after graduation rate. I think that's somewhere like 93% of students after graduation get a job within the first two months. And I don't wanna say that I'm part of that statistic yet, but I'm definitely on my track to becoming part of that statistic. The other reason was that it was in the city. Location, I didn't think was going to be super important to me, but it is. And it ends up being important to a lot of people because you're only at classes, you know, six or eight hours a day, however long. And after that, you're in the city. You're wherever your college is. So if you're not happy with the surrounding area, you're going to have a bad time. So making sure that you're in not only in the academic environment that you want to be in, but the outer environment is one that you want to be in as well. And the third reason was for my major. Wentworth is actually one of the only schools in the country that offers computer networking. So those three reasons were the main reasons why I decided to attend Wentworth. But those are all the questions that I have for you guys today. So that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's video. Uh, once again, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I don't know of what yet, but I'm gonna do a giveaway just to say thanks. I, I think that is just a, a small token of my appreciation that I can show and give to you guys. Um, also, if you have more questions about college, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll still answer them. Uh, but other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.